y'all here again with another video this video will be about mm, gun laws and the regulations and rules on it US wise you another country should not be trying to have a say so on our gun laws that involve in our country and our territories that the U.S. have a say so in it. Now, if you look at as the people who are in the country complaining about it, then only about eighty percent of those people know what they are talking about. And the other 20% that does only go in with the agreement of that 80% because, you know, you got to follow, not lead. If you want my opinion on the gun laws, no civilian or ordinary person or a person that's not legally allowed to own a gun should not have a firearm that shoot more than run around at a time, which means automatic. The only way to get an automatic gun is to have a class 3 license if you're not in the military or a special kind of police force or a special kind of security force that did not have the training or requirements, the legal requirements behind it to get it. Now, and that concern for the people who are getting these automatic weapons they basically don't have that like two three means one they ought to get it legally having a class 3 license or through one of those type of services two they ought to modify the weapons that I have by buying specific parts or making the parts or three they're getting illegally now if you want my opinion on it no one that does not have a class 3 license should not be buying those parts to turn those ordinary weapons into stocks, into automatic rifles. For those who are getting it illegally, no country in the world should not be telling us our laws when there are countries out there who have no gun laws out there like Russia or China or UK. Your, your police force UK police force does not even own a gun. You had to go high up the full terms in regular basic police force according to my knowledge when I've been told. With that being said, who are you going to enforce the law with without some form of weapon? Because if you try to enforce the law on me, and if, if I'm doing wrong, then you don't have nothing to force you enforce it with five or six group of people because tasers are like candy to some people. Anyway, back on us. Now, if these people who are getting the guns illegally, you can fix that. If these people who are don't have a class of license but buying the parts, fix it. Don't sell it. If these people are who legally getting the guns and doing these actions, it is up to you as the people who have the guns. To check on them at least yearly to make sure they have the requirements to keep owning that gun. Now, class 3 license wise, class 3 license wise, where it's an automatic rifle is what I'm talking about. Not one of those little, you have to be like 5 feet to shoot the gun to actually does damage or you have to reload like old school black smoke powder and stuff. And you have, there should be no problem with those guns anywise. If someone is shooting you and they like miss the first time and they have to reload like five minutes later and you get hit by that gun, then you are stupid. Plain stupid. If you get... It's just stupid on the regulation of the gun laws. Now you got people complaining about taking away our gun laws and they're not being specific on what gun laws they want to take away who what are you going to do without a gun you're not going to punch a bear in its face and say hey 
don't eat me. Or if someone like six, seven people break into your house and they all have guns illegally, which there's no such thing as, but in my opinion, there can be, but there's no such thing as no crime, whether it's listed or not. So you got six people coming up with you with guns and according to everyone else who follows the law, don't have that gun. Now what you going to do then? Take six, take six people bullets to the face. So, don't get rid of gun laws. Just make adjustment to certain guns. My opinion, certain kind of felonies, people with felonies, should be able to own a gun. As I said in my other video, is the situation they got they felt like murder. If they wasn't in defense... They should have not gunned it. Those who do drugs should not have guns as a felony wise. Those who commit any other crimes that bad like that should not have guns with a felony. Now if they have been proven, like 100% proved beyond doubt that they were innocent, they should be able to go. But just stigma that, um, you know... Like, if I walk in a gun store, I buy a gun. Oh, he's black. No, don't give him a gun. Which, you're not going to stop me from getting a gun. So, anyway. If I, especially when I know I can legally own one. So, have fun with that crap. But, they make laws that can contradict what's the basic law. And they add more laws that contradict that law and that contradict that law. Then it become a battle of words. So, with that case, make the decision of your own with an actual fact that's an unbiased opinion. But if you want to play a game like me, there's no such thing as facts. Everything can be fact. You can bend it around to fit your needs. The fact that is truth. Now, other countries' rights, you guys can't complain about our gun laws because you're not sending us food, you're not taking those refugees, or in, cause if we have refugees, which you take us in, I highly doubt it, but you might change your mind afterwards, but you know, it's going to be make sure it's benefit to you, just like every other country on this planet, including this one. Anyway, really, get away our gun laws, y'all better can run your own country, there is no country on this planet that is top notch. In form of quality of life, U.S., U.K., Japan, yeah, U.S., U.K., Japan, there's honest opinion, my honest opinion, there's no other country better than those top three wise in form of quality of life, the supposed rules or laws they want you to see, like, Equality of all, equal opportunity, the high chance of education, live in a 50 bedroom manners. Oh, uh, any other country out there, you guys can't say anything. You complain about our gun laws, but your gun laws are so strict, nobody can own a gun, but yet people still get those guns. Mm. So, obviously, you guys need to fix your stuff first before you complain about our gun laws. That's right. Now, None of y'all can't say anything about my opinion because I'm speaking of actual facts. If you want to look up people with gun laws and just look them up and look up crime committee, even though they have like zero tolerance on gun laws and people are like getting guns like kids walking around AKs or freaking babies shooting people with pistols and stuff. I'm like, go for it. Have fun. Now, was it? For me wise, I can kind of figure what the criticism is going to be like, oh, you're black, people don't really allow you guys to own guns. Legally, that is very true. Because when I went to gun store a couple years back to buy guns, this state don't have where you are required to register your gun. You can only register gun if you volunteer to. So when I bought my gun, they made me register. And after I got registered, I got it deregistered and I still own that gun at that time. That being said, F you guys. You guys should, um, what's the word for it? Figure out the laws about your guns. 
to the best of your capabilities. Now, I got short term memory loss, so I really don't care unless there's something about the law in there. You should be aware otherwise of your own stuff. Um, come on, people. Now, tell me I can't own a gun, but you can, or someone you like can own a gun. And then also saying no one should own a gun. You guys are stupid. Literally. Guys, when I say guys, I mean ladies and mm, the opposite. And then wherever sit in between on either end of that. Wherever floats your above. Heck, you can call yourself a cream puff, power puff, gender, wherever you want. I don't care. Don't be a hypocrite. No one likes a hypocrite. Video end.